friends so today we are going to talk about an uh, interesting production problem right see uh, java developers uh, typically tend to use uh, this uh, api that is there is this java util uuid class which is part of the jdk it has a method called as a random uuid so when you invoke this method you are going to get an universally unique identifier number which is going to look something like this so every time whenever you call it's going to generate this sort of an unique number right see sometimes this uuid not always sometimes it can slow down your application and sometimes it can even make your entire application go unresponsive and recently we faced this issue in one of the application right so let's uh, before we see what was the issue in that application let's see how this uuid works how does this uuid generation works how does the java generates this universally unique identifier number right to do this java the jdk invokes underlying operating system to give to generate the number so jdk invokes underlying operating system to get this uuid and an operating system there is an uh, concept called entropy have you guys heard about this uh, terminology entropy yes ma'am okay so what is it do you want to explain like uh, uh, encryption right time no see entropy means uh, it is kind of uh, like say based on the noise that is coming from the hardware devices based on the user's mouse movements based on the noise coming from the uh, the fan in the hardware the operating system generates random numbers that's what it means see sometimes when there is a lack of entropy in the operating system that means this jdk if your application is using this random uuid when we make a call to it that will also slow down because there is if there is a lack of entropy on the operating system so when you when there is a lack of entropy on the operating system when you make this call this random uuid call that will also slow down when you make a call and if operating system is not returning this number your application thread will be put into the blocked state so that it it won't be able to progress forward right so this is a problem that happened recently in one of the application so this is that application so they captured the thread dump you can see and then when it was analyzed uh, in this fast thread tool when you upload the thread dump it was saying 50 threads are are in the blocked state and they are blocked on this particular api okay. so it has all these reports so let's look into this uh, stack trace right so i'm i'm going here here i'm looking at it look at this this is a thread which is coming along and now it is invoking this random uuid there is a method what we saw and now it, it is making a call the response is not coming from the operating system due to which this thread is in blocked state not only this this thread this active execute thread 66 in blocked state there is also other 50 threads like this all of these threads are also in the same blocked state because of lack of entropy so which is making this see threads are nothing but a customer request right so that means that whenever a customer is making a call he's not going to get back a response so we are, so this application was getting into a total unresponsive state so this can also happen for your application if there is a lack of entropy is happening and that you tend to use this random uuid method in your critical code part okay any questions so far on this okay i will assume there are no questions so when this kind of a, a problem surfaces in your application what is the solution to it right so uh, there are few solutions in this talk i'm going to be highlighting three solutions right so the first one is the jdk upgrade see this is a known bug in java right There's a known bug in JDK, which is showing up coming along here. But however, this issue has been resolved 
in jdk 8 update 112 or jdk 9 105 version so if you can upgrade to this jdk version you are very welcome to do it right this is one potential solution the second pot potential solution is there is this open source project called as averaged project see this is based on an average algorithm so this algorithm can generate random numbers so that your operating system instead of relying on the entropy it can use this algorithm to generate the random numbers so this is an open source project you can install this on your uh, linux kernel or or, or any kind of you know, uh, unix distribution when you do this so that there won't be any lack of entropy so your application will not stall because of this so this is a second solution right and then the third solution is by default in unix like operating system there is a special file called as dev random right dev slash random it's going to be there in this file part right there dev slash random so this is the file what java by default uses for generating the random numbers so instead of using this dev random you we can configure the jdk to invoke this dev slash u random when you do this uh, the generation will be much faster but it's not going to be as secure or as unique as the random uh, this file this is another alternative which you can do you can do that by passing this system property to your jdk when you launch your application you can pass this system property java security egd and a file dev dot slash u random you can do like this right so these are the potential three solutions okay uh, is this making sense or do you guys have any questions uh, no it is clear to me how about other okay so i will assume um, this session this uh, session was helpful thank you guys